Hey everyone, a lot of people have been asking me where they can download mods for Assetto Corsa, so in order to help you out, I'm going to show you some of the more popular websites. First up, we obviously have Race Department as the most popular website to download AC mods. The only downside to Race Department is that you need to have an account in order to download mods. Registering for an account is free though, and you can even log in using your Facebook account. If you go into Downloads and then into Assetto Corsa, you can see all of the different categories. As you can see, Race Department doesn't have too many cars, but it does have a lot of tracks. More importantly though, Race Department is well known for its AC apps. Here, you can find all sorts of mods, including an app that will add blinker sounds, as well as the heads-up display for Gran Turismo 7. Next up, we have Vosan, which is probably my favorite website to download mods at the moment, especially if you're into drifting. For tracks, they have them separated into competitive tracks and fun tracks. Competitive tracks are usually tracks that are used in competition, such as the Virtual Drift Championships or the DCGP. Under fun tracks, you can find all sorts of tracks, but most of them are intended for drifting. Then, for cars, you can download complete drift car packs or you can find individual cars. Volsan has some of the most popular drifting car packs for Assetto Corsa, so if you're a fan of drifting, this is the place to be. If you want to pick and choose and download individual cars, you can do that as well. Next up, we have Assetto World, which probably has the nicest user interface in my opinion. The website will even tell you if certain mods require custom shaders patch to function properly and everything is well organized. This website has over 3000 different car mods, giving you plenty of choice. When you open up any mod, it gives you all of the different information about that mod and the description. You can also look at the power and torque chart and you can report the mod if you think it's been stolen. This website also has some pretty decent track mods, so I suggest checking it out. Now, even though this next website is in Japanese and you'll need to translate it to English, it probably has every type of mod imaginable. I should point out that some of the mods on this website and on most of the websites you're about to see today have been published illegally or are stolen and I don't condone that. Now, if you click car mods and sort them by manufacturer, you'll see a list of all the different mods sorted by countries. What makes this website so great is that it has a little bit of everything. It has drift cars, it has race cars, and it even has street cars. If you click on the course mods tab, you'll be able to see all of the different track mods they have published as well. This next website is called World Drift Tour, and it only has three different car packs, but they're so good that I had to include them. The main Drift Tour car pack is excellent if you already know how to drift, and the street car pack is good if you're a beginner. The winter drift pack includes low grip tires, so just be aware of that. Next up, we have Aussie Drift, which is probably one of the better known drifting communities for Assetto Corsa. If you click the link tree on their Facebook page and then click on content mods, you can download all of their mods. They have a ton of different mods, both for competition and if you just want to have fun. Most, if not all, of the ADC car mods are really well made. Assetto Land has car mods separated into manufacturers. When you click on a manufacturer, you can see who posted the mod, when they posted it, and when or if the mod was updated. Assetto Land used to be one of the biggest websites for Assetto Corsa mods, but it's decent even today. A really great way to find quality mods for Assetto Corsa is to type in Assetto Corsa Patreon on Google. You can find a lot of talented artists creating cars and tracks for Assetto Corsa, such as MNBA, Jackie Performance, TGN, Push P, Guerrilla, and much more. Although all of these guys obviously use a subscription model and not all of their mods are free, a good portion of them are. If you can be bothered to look around, you can find some exceptionally high quality mods for Assetto Corsa on Patreon. Assetto DB is an older website that doesn't get updated as often. As such, some of the car mods might be older and some might not work as intended. That being said, they do have quite a bit of tracks, so it might be worth to check it out. Next up, we have VK, which, even though it looks like Facebook, it actually isn't. To download mods, you do need to sign up, but the website has quite a bit of members and the mods are typically quite good. We then have the Virtual Drift Championship, where I actually used to compete a few years ago. 
If you go to the VDC link tree, you can find three different links, all pointing to the same VDC Public Car Pack 3.0. The VDC cars are super fun to drift if you already know how to drift, but since they were intended for competition, they might be a bit more difficult to learn on. Just like VDC, the DCGP or the Drift Corner GP is another drifting competition. If you go to download, you can download their Season 9 car pack and various different tracks that they have released. Again, these cars are really fun to drive, but they're a bit more challenging than your typical street drift setup. Lastly, if you're into drifting, you can always Google Facebook Assetto Corsa Drift and find all sorts of Facebook groups and communities specifically dedicated for drifting. A lot of these Facebook communities are quite large and some of them have mods which can only be found there. Again, there's absolutely no way to guarantee the quality of the mods from any of the websites that I've mentioned today, so you'll just have to try them out. That's it for this video, please subscribe if you can and leave a like. And if you have any other ideas for topics you'd want to see, please leave them in the comments below.